Okay, in this video, we are going to be explaining some terminology, specifically what it means for a function to be increasing at an increasing rate versus increasing at a decreasing rate, or decreasing at an increasing rate versus decreasing at a decreasing rate. So I see a lot of people struggle with this idea. The way we're going to deal with it is first look up some look at some sample solutions and see uh, if we can justify it or give a reason. I think that'll clear it up for people. So sample solution number one. At x equals c, f of x is increasing at an increasing rate because. So the first thing we want to do is justify that f of x is increasing. That's definitely about f prime. So if f of x is increasing, it must mean that f prime is greater than zero. And if we're at an increasing rate, so f of x is increasing, we dealt with that. At an increasing rate, the increasing rate is talking about what's happening to f prime. If f prime is increasing, that would mean that f double prime is positive. So this is our justification. Increasing at an increasing rate means f prime is greater than zero because f is increasing. At an increasing rate means f double prime is greater than zero. Now let's compare that to at x equals c, f of x is increasing at a decreasing rate because. Okay, if f of x is increasing, that's a first derivative type of thing. And we're increasing, so f prime of c is greater than zero. And at a decreasing rate means that the derivative is decreasing, right? At a decreasing rate, the rate of change of the rate is negative. So that would mean that f double prime of c is less than zero. I'm trying to color code this so that it's really clear to you. Um, maybe take some notes on this. I don't know, screenshot it. Uh, so these are our possibilities for if a function is increasing. We can be increasing, which means f prime is positive, at an increasing rate, which would mean f double prime is positive, or our function could be increasing, f prime is positive, at a decreasing rate, meaning f double prime is less than zero. Let's look at the next possibility. At x equals c, f of x is decreasing at an increasing rate because. So the because is what's always missing. If you're not writing because, you're not really justifying it, and it's harder to like make sense of it without some sort of justification. So if our function is decreasing, that's a first derivative type of thing. The reason you would be decreasing is that f prime is less than zero. If we are decreasing at an increasing rate, right? So the at an increasing rate is really talking about the rate of change of the first derivative. So the first derivative is increasing. That would mean that f double prime is greater than zero. So that's our justification. So decreasing because f prime is less than zero at an increasing rate because f double prime is greater than zero. That's all we really need. There will be context probably, but this is kind of the skeleton of our answer. Let's look at the final possibility. At x equals c, f of x is decreasing at a decreasing rate because, okay, if our function is decreasing, that's an f prime situation, f prime must be negative, and at a decreasing rate, that's telling us that f prime is decreasing, which would tell us that f double prime is less than zero. So that's the terminology, that's how we get these things. So let me kind of summarize this. So we're not doing a lot in this video. We're just like clearing up uh, a misconception or a, a struggle that a lot of people have that I don't think they need to have. So our summary is a function is increasing or decreasing based on the sign of f prime, right? That's how you're going to justify that a function is increasing because f prime is positive, decreasing because f prime is negative. The part where we say at an increasing or decreasing rate is gonna be based on the sign of f double prime. So you'll say at an increasing rate, if f double prime is positive, you'll say at a decreasing rate, if f double prime is less than zero or negative. Okay, so that's the idea. And then of course, sometimes you're just giving graphs, right? So if we have these four graphs, we can go through the same analysis. So I'm gonna do this and then the video will be over and you will hopefully have a better understanding of this idea. So for my first graph, f prime is greater than zero because this function is increasing, right? So the function is increasing because f prime is greater than zero, f prime is greater than zero, therefore the function is increasing. Now, I'm gonna say because this thing is concave up, f double prime is greater than zero. If I'm saying f double prime is greater than zero, I am always gonna be saying at an increasing rate. So this graph is increasing at an increasing rate. If you actually write down or, or show some of the values of the derivative, you'll see that they're actually getting bigger. They are positive and getting bigger. The function is increasing because its slopes are positive at an increasing rate because they're getting more positive. And you can kind of go through that argument for any of these. Let's look at the next one. 
So for this one, f prime is less than zero because visually this function is decreasing, um, but f prime is less than zero, function is decreasing, f is decreasing, f prime is less than zero. Now we look at the concavity to decide if we're gonna say an increasing rate or a decreasing rate. This curve right here is concave up, which means f double prime is greater than zero. So we will say, because f double prime is greater than zero, f prime is increasing. So we'll say at an increasing rate. So when we have a curve that is decreasing but concave up, we'll say the curve is decreasing at an increasing rate. Okay, the next one, this curve is decreasing, so f prime is less than zero, or we can visually see f prime is less than zero, therefore decreasing. Depends on which way you wanna go. Uh, this curve is concave down, therefore f double prime is less than zero, so we will find ourselves saying that it is at a decreasing rate. Like it happens to be, the curve happens to be decreasing, whether it's increasing or decreasing, this is at a decreasing rate because f double prime is less than zero. And then finally, this curve is increasing, f prime is greater than zero, so f is increasing. f double prime in this case will be less than zero because this curve is concave down. And because we're saying concave down, that's f double prime is less than zero, which means f prime is decreasing, so we'll say at a decreasing rate. So that's all there is to this. It's kind of a lot, but it's really not a lot when you kind of like get it to make sense for you. Uh, that's the end of the video. I hope this was helpful and good luck.